hi friends in this video i am going to explain about uh, logging with github in node.js app so there are so many uh, platforms social platforms but these are the uh, the popular which are being preferred for mobile app rather everywhere so google facebook linkedin twitter github these are the most preferred uh, platforms which are being used for social logging so if you talk about the the, the basic flow of social logging then uh, at the, the at first uh, there is a button where user clicks and then on on the base of click the the page directs to the social uh, platform either it's facebook login uh, google whatever and uh, over that platform uh, the user performs authentication and then uh, the the success or error uh, uh, response uh, sent back to the local app or local server and ac accordingly the uh, user is user can see user sees the uh, a message so here at this point mainly this uh, this request uh, like uh, is process uh, like generated to the social uh, social server to with two different ways one via the browser uh, app like the facebook uh, or google sorry uh, like the uh, facebook um, facebook reacts and google angular app or server app like in the node.js and other uh, social server side applications so here, uh, like uh, generating the request from the uh, from the local app can be done with the two different ways: browser side or server side. So in this app, I am going to only use Node.js. So the request will be uh, will be generated from the server end only. Okay. So let's move to the code side. Let me move this. Okay, and I am going to show you the ba the basic code I have done. Uh, uh, it's a single page uh, application it's having node modules package json and server.js so here i've used express app express framework for the for my application you can um, it can be without framework also but i have used because i prefer to go with framework for any kind of application so i have used your passport related packages for authenticate authentic authentication purpose and uh, here i have loaded the credentials you can see a client id secret and callback url Okay, and here I have set the secret key into the session, and after that this is serialized and deserialized. So if you use passport, then you will see serialized and deserialized. What it? What is this? So passport or serialized mainly saves the user ID into session, right? And passport dot, dot serialized, deserialized mainly fetches the data from that from the saved ID. So this is the two basic thing which you will see when you, whenever you will use passport for any other uh, social login also so that is pass uh, serialize uh, and user and deserialize user now we have different routes here you can see here auth.github and callback route uh, so main main route and logout route so this route we are having for generating the request to the github so uh, if you see uh, we have an, where, uh, where we have login with uh, github button we are we are calling this route so this route mainly redirects our request to the third party like the github uh, github uh, platform okay and this is the callback url this url is being set to callback url here you can see and later in this video i'll, I'll show you where how to create the app on github and where to set the callback url so that the, you know, the, the app can be uh, return to the particular URL after uh, after uh, login over the th third party uh, server or app uh, platform. So this is the callback URL and on the on the root route on the uh, localhost column 3000. I uh, since the app is running on 3000. So on the main route, mm, I have uh, I have rendered some static HTML here you can see. So if user is authenticated, or uh, means his, uh, the user has been logged in from the GitHub, then we are showing the logout button and the user uh, data fetched from the uh, GitHub. And if it's not logged in, then we are just showing login with GitHub. And here we have a logout button so that we can remove the 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 data from the from our session and uh, user will be directed to the uh, the UI where it's, it will ask for login. So uh, I have already uh, run the app, and here I will show you how it works. So you can see here we have single simple button login with GitHub, right? If I click here, then this will uh, direct us to the third-party platform. So I'm going to log in here. So 
sorry. It's asking me for the verification code. Let me check. So I'm entering the verification code and I can see it will redirect us back to the app. So you can see it is directed to the uh, localhost 3000 and heck, I can see the data fast from the GitHub. So this is the ID which we, we need to uh, save with the help of serialized user. And here at the top we have a button for logout. So this way uh, the app works and it I have not done very, uh, very long things or very long app for from the task here you can see and also I'm going to um, like add this the add the blog link where, where you will get all the code uh, which I have done here so this way we can we can have the things um, work and I'll, I'll let me show you how we can create the app on github so here under settings you will get the option let me show you developer setting yeah here you can see no github app so you need to enter the name and description, the home page URL. Uh, in my case, it's localhost 3000, and this is the callback URL which I was discussing about. This uh, this URL will be there here at this place. So this way, I don't think we really need to touch anything else for now. For basic app, we can just enter the basic things, and we can create the app here, and the things will go. Okay, thanks for watching this video.